What is going on guys? It is Lego KC and I am back! Sorry, I have been gone for a couple days. We've been extremely sick and well, I've been trying to get that beast back there done, but unfortunately being under the weather, I haven't made it very far. So we're gonna be working on that. Stay tuned, that's coming soon enough. That is the Disney castle, but that is not why we're here today. We have set 60176 Lego City Wild River Escape. 126 pieces as you guys have noticed i've gotten pretty into the lego city theme lately so on this set we've got it looks like a little river raft uh, a very scared little minifigure here we've got our police and his police boat to save the day and then on the back here of course well it uncovers a little bit on the front he didn't look uh he looked scared because of the rapids but on the back here you see he's a thief we've got the skunk over here He's running from the cops over here and then finally gets arrested. So let's get this box open. Pull out the blade. Let's see here. Try to not ruin anything. Easier said than done. Two bags, pretty simple. We got our book, and then it looks like loosely we've got part of the police boat. So here again, you got your minifigures, police boat, a breakdown of the books. Set itself is it looks like 52 pages, 39 steps. And then you got Ranger Rick here in the back telling you not to cause forest fires. Smokey the Bear just isn't cool anymore. So let's get this thing built. We will be back. Here we go. our wild river escape the first thing i want to take a look at is this police boat here so i don't have too much of the police sets i really don't have a lot of police officers or anything really police re related so anytime i can pick up a lego city police anything i definitely want to just because i just have a huge respect for cops and you know everything they do so the police boat itself uh Pretty colorful, bright blue. The blues and the yellows, I've always loved the way they mesh together. Reminds me a lot of that poly bag I did a long time ago, the little um, airboat. So you see here, we've got our lights on each side. I was a little disappointed. I'm shocked there's not any red or anything up here. I might have to look into getting some red pegs added up to the top. So that way we have a little bit more authentic, but I think they want to do away with the red because it doesn't really match the blue and yellow theme. We've got two police stickers, one on each side here, and then the police sticker on the front. As well as, of course, in the back, we have our exhausts and our boat engine. And like a normal engine, it does lift up to lift out of the water. So pretty much the only thing this boat is missing is an anchor down. Next up, we have the escape raft. And this escape raft is, well, full of jewels and a crowbar. Let's just pull this off here. As you can see in here, we've got a crate full of crowbar and diamonds that were heisted by our bad guy. Let's get this put back together really quick. Raft itself is a pretty simple little raft here. 
nothing much to it. Very, very quick and easy build. And then of course, we have our little accessory skunk here who is probably just hanging out on the boat, probably getting ready to cause some smelly chaos. Let's take a look at our minifigures. So the first minifigure we've got is the police officer. You see he's got his life vest on, nice little sunglasses and a hat. He's got pockets on the front here of his khakis, holding onto cuffs for when he catches the bad guy. Back here we've got police printed across it. And we'll keep rotating this around. He's only got one face on him. And let's do something. I think I really need to start doing this when I have minifigures that have an accessory on them like this. The front printing of the police officer, you see he's got his badge right there and some zippers, and then he's got his nice little uniform underneath what would appear to be a hoodie. And we'll put his little life jacket back on him. And that is the police officer minifigure. Let's take a look. Here we have got the burglar and he is angry. You can see on the front he's got his satchel with a feather on it, nice printing. And it looks like on the shirt printing we've got kind of like ruffles, almost like an Indian shirt. The side here we've got his paddle accessory. And then going to the back, he's got his ponytail all wrapped up. Again, to continue with the back with the satchel and the different garnish on the back of the shirt with a frightened face, probably because he's hitting the rapids pretty hard or because the policeman's getting ready to catch him. This is the first male figure that I've gotten with longer hair, like almost like a man bun. That's pretty interesting. No printing or anything on the legs. And that is the bird. So all in all, as always, I, I really enjoy doing these smaller sets just because Lego can show how to bring out extra detail in something so small and so um, little in significance. And I, I just, I've grown real fond of the Lego city. I'll never own a city and I'll never build a city, but it's still pretty cool just to collect the little minifigures. So appreciate you guys stopping in. If you guys want, go ahead, click the link up at the top, hit subscribe. Don't forget, put a ring on it, guys. Hit the bell at the bottom so you know when I post. I will be back and I'll be back to daily uploads. We're feeling better now. We got some medicine on our system. So I do apologize. Sorry for the wait. We got more videos coming your way. So don't forget, make sure you hit subscribe. Like the video, ring it. We'll see you back here with the next one. Thanks again.